Hello everybody, welcome back. It is Friday the 16th of June. I am on Blundell Street. As you can see it's closed off here because it's a Foxhall Village development. And there has been a new start. There's been a lot of piling going on. So I've walked as far down Blundell Street as I can to show you guys where all the new piling's gone in. So the new houses are going to be down Blundell Street. Definitely on this side anyway, because you can see the new pilings have gone in there. Not sure what's going to happen on that side. But here we can get a close-up view of the partially built house there. I've only ever filmed that from the other side of the entire site because I didn't even think we could get across there. There's a partially built one there. I mean, we've seen all them before and there was one there just behind that that got pulled down. Well, just in front of that, that got pulled down, I should say. So that's the one closest to us. I think that's a couple houses there, it would have been. They'd have been nice properties that. That's such a shame it didn't get finished. But the fact that they're still there, they might just finish them off. You can see down Blundell Street there, that's where the tram tracks are. I mean, they've not been used for many years, but they used to run all the way down that and into the tram sheds. But we're going to go down Blundell Street now and we're going to take a look at the site from this side because we haven't really been down here before but with all this new piling going on I wanted to show you the footprint of the new builds or where they're going to be because now we can get a good idea looking at these and these are the brand new ones guys that have just gone in in this last few days we can see there that is the giant piling machine and we saw that at work in my last video look how big it is this is a great close up look at that and we go all the way up look how tall it is super duper tall and Here's all the new things that have gone in. And somebody did tell me again in the comments that there'll be a lot of sand under all this rubble. Just like at the St Chad's site where it's a lot of sand, there's probably a lot of sand here. Same as there was when they dug up the Blackpool Central development. That's why when they were piling the other day, the initial bit, getting through the initial rubble and rock was hard. And then they hit sand and it just goes right down. Well, yeah, I suspect there's a lot of sand under all this. But here we go. So now we can see where all the new properties are going to be. So they're going to be along this road, which does make obvious sense. I mean, of course, they're going to be along this road. So this will be nice when there's more houses down here. And this whole other side is a nice housing development. Look, we can see sand there guys, look. If we zoom in a bit there, we can just see, indeedy, there is a lot of sand. The whole town is built on sand. Well, definitely this side is. So oh, there we go. That's a great view. So now we're just going to turn onto Princess Street. You can see where these old tram tracks. They would just head on there to the prom, but they've not been used in many a year. You can see the piling machine there from a different angle. So you see, it's been hard at work all week. There's just loads and loads of these new pals gone in. And from here we can just see how sandy parts of this site is. Just sand everywhere. That's Blackpool for you folks. Let's walk around. I 
I'll just walk a little bit further and I'll stop for a bit and give you guys another peep at everything. There you go, that's a good view there. There's loads more piles there waiting to go in, just long concrete piles. They're going to all be put in during the next week. So here we go. We're walking around now. the signs. There's a new builder's sign up there. I am going to just show you. There you go, it's got Tyson, Blackpool Council, Great Places Houses Group, Housing Group, Foxhall Village West, Holmes England. There's a few things on there, so it looks like a collaboration. Maybe everywhere's coming together to make this development happen. You see the straight line of them going down there. I feel like I'm being eaten alive and attacked by these little horrible little sand flies. They're everywhere. They keep flying into my eyes and on my face. So gross. Let's have one more view of that pilot machine. We can get a view from this side. Very quiet evening out in Blackpool tonight, which is surprising because it's lovely weather. Even though it looks cloudy, it's still nice weather. And I am up super duper early in the morning. I've got to get up around five because I've got editing to do. I've got loads of stuff to do before I go to work. And then when I come home from work, I've got shopping to do and stuff like that and all kinds of stuff to do. That's mainly why I'm trying to get a bit of extra filming done tonight because I don't really want to be going out in the afternoon tomorrow and filming tomorrow. These are the original piles from the actual original development. So these look like they're staying. So yeah, these must be part of the new plans. Which again makes sense because you'd want houses in a straight road down here. You wouldn't want them just to curve off into the background or anything like that. So this development is going to look great when it's done. That's that partially finished house. We did get a good view of that from Blundell Street. But you can get more of a straight forwards view from there. And that's the other one. There, just on the side. But again, it would make sense for them to finish that first one we saw because it's actually attached to a house that's completed. But anyway, let's just head around the corner and look down the last side. I just wanted to start from right at the other side today just to give you folks a different view is that an elderberry bush i don't know i think it is could be i'm probably wrong <laughs> so we'll just have one more peek through and look through here And then we'll just walk down our final side and see what is going on down there. Here we go, round the last corner. And we get to look here, I'm facing north now, you can tell that because you can see the towers in the shot, so you can see that. So we'll just get around here. 
It's just peeped through there like that. There you can see where all the old houses were built and they've all been just pulled up. And now we're at the very, very last bit of the site, guys. We're nearly done with this one. And that, everybody, is it. And we are finishing pretty much on Blundell Street, where we started, but at the opposite end. Because if we look down there, we can see right where we started from at the other side get a few of those houses there partially built ones and that is where we started opposite there at the other end of this road and you can see the tram tracks coming out of there and going down there And that is the final partially built house. You can see there now, we get a good view of that one. And that bit there, that's where another one stood, but that got pulled completely down. So yeah, that's it for this video guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Good little update. If you did like it, you know what to do. Please hit the like button for me and maybe even subscribe if you're not already subscribed and i shall see you all very soon in the next one goodbye